Saudi Arabia seeks U.S. security pledges nuclear help for peace with Israel. Saudi Arabia peace with Israel contingent on U.S. promises nuclear aid. With a report in the Wall Street Journal on a potential normalization deal between Israel and Saudi Arabia, something we have spoken about quite a lot on this show. Well, the report claims that Riyadh wants the United States to provide security guarantees and help it develop its civilian nuclear program as part of any deal to recognize Israel. Well, our Middle East correspondent Ariel Osaran is with me in the studio, as is the former Israeli ambassador to the United States, Dr. Michael Oren. Uh, good evening to you both. Uh, so, Ariel, uh, what what is new in this report? Well, Laura, I think it's interesting what is new about this report from the uh, Wall Street Journal is that we're, we know that this uh, request has been made, that the, that Riyadh is asking Washington for this assistance. I think I, I personally would change the order. I think, I think they're, they're saying if you want us to normalize relations with Israel, help us establish a civilian nuclear program. That's, I think, how the Saudis are, are, are presenting this. And it would play off also what we're hearing uh, in recent months by Prime Minister Netanyahu, who is, who is trying to show, um, trying to present normalization with Saudi Arabia as like the, this crown jewel, his main goal as the, the, the end game of the Abraham Accords. And uh, this obviously would be a, a step in the right direction. Now, if we're looking at what is new, back in, in December, actually, I, I, we at I-24, our own Guy Israel, he revealed that these demands were already uh, portrayed to Washington already uh, back at the end of 2022. The, he was uh, citing an American delegation uh, to Riyadh organized by the Washington Institute that met with Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. The Crown Prince was asked uh, what would bring Saudi Arabia to join the Arab Accords and normalize ties with Israel. There were three demands. One of them was to allow Saudi Arabia to exploit their extensive uranium reserves for restricted civil nuclear program. In my book, I said, there are four peace treaties to be had right away. If we pursue them, we waited until the fourth year and happily achieved these four historic peace accords, the Abraham Accords. But uh, I think the big prize is peace with Saudi Arabia, which I intend to achieve if I go back into office. And I think there's a chance I will achieve it because I think Saudi Arabia and many of the other Arab countries who haven't yet made peace with us know that I'm absolutely facilitated the Abraham Accords, and the continual uh, nurturing of Israeli power will also uh, nurture, I think, a broader peace with Saudi Arabia.